Now, if you were to ask rail passengers what they'd most like to change about the system, many of them would, of course, say overcrowding. Well, one man who says that that is all about to change is Mike Hogg. Mike, huge amount of investment going on. What are passengers going to see in the next few years? Well, it means a bit of short-term pain, which we try and minimise for a long-term gain, to use a cliché. The bottom line is that on my piece of the railway, there's six or seven billion pounds being spent over the next five or six years. And the trick for me is to ensure that we can actually keep a timetable service running pretty reliably, keep the capacity in there, whilst all this work takes place. So how do you, the rail operator, make sure that network rail is developing the network for passengers' needs? Well, by cooperation all the way through the process, we're working incredibly closely with Network Rail. In fact, we're often in the same office uh, to make sure that the output is what the passenger needs and what we need as the train operator. Further down the process, we're actually doing the development and the delivery of the projects together. So there shouldn't be any surprises. We're actually in the heart of the project and Network Rail will uh, cause the contracts to happen, get the work done, and we'll run the trains uh, as best we can around it. But it's actually pretty mature, pretty well established. Mike Hogg, thank you very much indeed. That's fine.